As Victoria's housing crisis continues to bite, figures from this year's budget reveal social housing wait lists and waiting times are growing. The state government says more than 5,000 families or individuals were placed into social housing in the past year, but that hasn't kept up with demand. In the same period, the waiting list for social housing has grown to more than 58,000 families, which means there are 3,000 more families waiting for housing than there were 12 months ago. This government has claimed to have spent literally billions of dollars on better outcomes for homeless and needy people here in Victoria, and yet they have not been able to achieve any outcomes. The wait times are also growing for families affected by domestic violence who need public housing. The Victorian government says it's provided public housing for just over 800 families in this situation in the past year and has set a target of 10 months wait for public housing, but the actual wait time has been growing for the past four years. In 2020, families affected by domestic violence were waiting just under 10 months for public housing. In 2021, it was 11 months. Last year, it was 17 months. Now it's 20. We try to assist women to get into safe housing um, and it has become extremely difficult in recent years and now it's almost impossible to get people into, into housing which gives them very little option but to go back into unsafe situations, not to be able to have their children return to them and live with them, families separated and family violence continuing. So it's a real crisis for us. 